seen our next guest on Martha Stewart Living, E! Entertainment, and USA Today, just to name a few. Barry Lynn is known as the cheese impresario, and she is here to show us four Wisconsin cheeses that pair perfectly with a great glass of brandy, yes, brandy, and how to entertain with them. This is kind of a... A, a new turn on things because we love brandy in Wisconsin, but you usually think of wine. Yeah, well, I know that Wisconsin loves its brandy. And actually, a Wisconsin cheesemaker is the one who said to me, Hey, I love my big cheddars with brandy. Really? And it sort of opened up a new world for me because I love teaching people about how to entertain. Mm -hmm. And um, we've got a couple of different brandies um, here. Yeah, what do you look for with a brandy to serve with a cheddar? Well, really, I look for a big, big fruity flavor and okay. also. Um, as high quality as you can. Yeah. We got these from a store called Vom Foss mm -hmm, sure. in, uh, in Madison, and you can buy little bottles or even smaller bottles, so <laughs> then you can try them with your friends and family. You That's don't have to idea. buy a whole big bottle. Right, well, some of us might, you know, just to be economical <laughs> yeah. and all. And then I love um, the pairings with the Wisconsin cheeses because mm -hmm. there's so much flavor. Um, in the cow's milk that's coming out of Wisconsin. And even just standing here, I can say, I can smell the brandy with the cheese, and it, it smells right to me. It smells good. Yeah. Well, so let's talk about the cheeses that you brought. Okay, well, we brought three different cheeses. This is the Hooks, Tony and Julie Hook. Mm -hmm. um, they were uh, college sweethearts. Oh, I love Ten that story. Cheddar. Amazing. Marika Penterman from Holland's Family Farm. This is her fenugreek gouda that mm. has a seed from Holland in it that's sweet mm. and it's almost got some maple syrupy characteristics. Oh, I'm excited to try that one too. And then this is a brand new cheese from Chris Raleigh from Raleigh Cheese House, Little Mountain. Alpine style cheese that works beautiful with apple fruity kind mm. of brandies. Now, how do you conduct testing with? brandy and cheese. I've never done this. Well, I sit there with all the brandies in front mm -hmm. of me and all the cheeses and I have a chart that I've made and I really do it just like a normal, you know, professional taster would. I, I write down all the characteristics, mm -hmm. what I'm feeling, I hone it down, hone it down, hone it down. And of course, you know, when I'm drinking, I have to spit it out because as you, you know, or, lose your kind of consciousness on your parents. You're visiting Wisconsin. I didn't mm -hmm. know if you knew the state of which you were visiting. Yes, I do. I think we're hardy folk here. Yeah. Okay, so you, you brought what, cashews? Yeah, unsalted nuts. Always. Oh, on okay. Your plate. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yep. Dried fruit that is makes so sense. easy. You pull it out of your cupboard. It's beautiful. Apricots. You can actually put the cheese on it. A little French baguette. Mm -hmm. You have now a party. And you cannot um, drink on air, I know, but we can taste with our nose. A lot of, you know, a lot of taste is from 80 our nose. 80% of taste. 80%, okay. Yeah, so smell, but not too close. Mm -hmm. mm, you smell almost a raisiny mm -hmm. um, and a little bit of maple syrup. Mm -hmm. Now, I would recommend smelling Marika's, um, this is a cow's milk raw, cow's mm -hmm. milk cheese with the fenugreek seed. Mm. And you can smell. You can smell the richness yep. of her cheese, but just that hint of sweetness, and I'm going to take a little taste. That's because so you I'm can. You're not going to do the cheese highway for okay. you. Take a little bite of the cheese, chew it up, mm -hmm. coat your tongue, make a cheese highway, and then just, oh. Just a little bit of sip. <laughs> and you know there are people watching that are right there with me going, uh-oh. Yeah, and this is a Spanish brandy. Hmm. It's been aged in sherry um, casks. So it's got that sweetness, and then also it's noted for its maple syrupy back mm. um, finish. So beautiful with Now, Barry, cheese. if somebody wants to get in touch with you, if they want some advice on how to put these charts or these brandies and cheeses together, how do they get in touch with you? Oh, it's easy. Just go to my website, mm -hmm. thecheeseimpresario.com. Click contact me and I answer everybody. Now that's a good woman right there. We also put her website on our web channel, NBC15.com, and you click on news links. Thank you so much. I, by the way, noticed that you were very impressed with this couple, that they were college sweethearts. 
she married her high school sweetheart. I did. I yes. do. I. You know what? As the hopeless romantic, I love to hear stories oh, like thank that. Thank you. Thank you so much, Barry. We really appreciate you coming, and this is pure pleasure. Gonna be fun. Okay, Charlie. I'm going to, uh, you know, reporter participation with the uh, cheese here. With the cheese, right?